So I got a little burnt out of the normal routine, booked a cheap flight to Portland, and this is the video on that. Touchdown in the hotel, straight to a run. Let's get it. Pretty cool view. It was almost like a little slice of Austin, trail around the water, had to hit a view in front of the view. It's a very Portland thing to have in an elevator. Here I am, like seven something, <clears throat> almost 7.30, waiting for this Whole Foods to open up. Bunch of meetings today, it's Monday. Changing up the scenery, once you start making some money, you should change up the scenery. Honestly, you should take that advice more. Been here for not even a day, and I've already come to some really unique perspectives really cool stuff so excited to lock in for the next couple days here and see what we can do and also i'm meeting tonight with jake jb our agency partner who does recruiting he manages some done for you sales teams just brought in his own deal to to the agency and if you're in my community you probably talked to him before it's going to be a good one but portland is uh kind of gloomy in the mornings a little rainy but there's no rain in the forecast it's also kind of sad because I don't know if you guys can tell. I think I'm in a nicer area right now, but it's kind of sad because this place is like actually really beautiful. And it's sad that it's so run down. A lot of the buildings, the architecture, the nature, very nice. The air feels crisp. This is my first time up in the Pacific Northwest. Been to San Francisco, but I don't think that counts, right? It really reminds me of Denver, but like a little bit of a cooler version of Denver, minus all the, the homeless and that kind of stuff seems like a, a city that it was it was cool to be here about 20 years ago and everyone's always dogging and saying oh austin is liberal city everyone's a hippie whatever while it's not the most conservative place in the world this place makes that look like child's play i went to a coffee shop all they had was oat milk that's crazy and overall i would just say people here they don't look as happy or healthy say one in every five people has some bright dyed hair there's a homeless person yelling over there. Yeah, anyways, gonna take you guys along for the ride. See what happens in the businesses. The reason I really did come here is because I had a lot of work to do and I just wanted to get away in a new location, lock in. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do some fun stuff as well. Yeah, man, Portland. At least they're eating good. Another thing that I saw here that I probably wouldn't have seen anywhere else, was on the running trail yesterday. And this dude in the middle of everyone, families, people walking, running, biking, all that stuff is just sitting on the curb, crack pipe in hand, lighter in hand, and he's geeking out. Uh, it was like 3 p.m., broad daylight. That's pretty crazy, if you ask me. Really quick, here's the hotel. We got like cool seating area, bar, more seating in the front, but cool vibe. This is the battle station. We're about to put in so much work. Everyone's always talking about three drink maximalism. What about four drinks? Ever think about that? So you might be wondering, dude, You've been wearing that sweatshirt for like two days. That's right, because it's cold in Portland and I packed t-shirts and I brought one sweatshirt. So just got back from dinner with business partner, Jake. We had a chicken sandwich and some beer and it's like 8.30 and I'm gonna go lock in because I'm on vacation and I get to do that and it's fun. Tomorrow I'm recording a podcast with Tanner Chittister. Don't know how we got him on, but he's coming on the Sales Bro Pod. That's gonna be an episode that comes out shortly. And then some internal calls and I'm gonna go swim in the river, the downtown river. Some people said I should, some people said I shouldn't. I'm gonna do it. I need to get the full Portland experience. So after that, we're gonna go get steaks and cigars with another sales agency owner and his partner which is super random that they're here in portland but yeah what a turn of events guys five minutes before the podcast with tanner event disappears off the calendar i'm assuming because i talked to his team and not him that he saw it on the calendar didn't know what it was because i didn't talk to him his team didn't tell him and then they just canceled it so that sucks but i am getting jeremy moser on he's a instagram marketer if you would call him that maybe he does more you'll hear it on the podcast but we're recording um on thursday so two days from now, gonna have that coming out to you guys. Another change of events, I decided not to jump into the river downtown. It's like mountain runoff water, it's really cold. And I had my doubts because it was like right in like a downtown area, but I saw a lot of people swimming in it. Uh, but after doing a little bit more research, talking to some locals, I decided that the risk is not worth the reward, even though it would be cool to experience that. I know that downtown city runoff water can be kind of gross. To me, it's just not worth risking picking anything up I've seen it happen in Austin. Did more research on Reddit and people were just like, you will probably be all right, but if you're not, here's all the reasons. So it's just not worth it. But anyways, now I have some time free up. I think I'm gonna walk to the gym, buy a day pass, hit some upper body and make the most of this day. I'm talking to a community member in about four hours, Caden. I think it was a 10K month he broke. So that interview is gonna be dropping soon on YouTube. Uh, yet another person picked up this contract to sell stuff and made awesome stuff happen. Before then, gonna head to the gym.
Just recorded the video with Hayden. He's a frat house president, 19 years old, did nine and a half K USD. He was on summer vacation when he did it, but he's in the frat house and um, it's like 13.3 K Canadian for him at 19 years old. Just got back from Australia, went to Portugal, went somewhere else. So yeah, that's freaking cool. I'll probably release that next week. And then I also went to, I forgot to film this, but I went to, I went to one of the most famous skate parks in the world. I used to skateboard a lot. I still will cruise around sometimes, but the one that's literally in the Tony Hawk video games, I'll throw up the pictures here. It's super gnarly in person. Yeah, that was just, a cool a cool moment for me i'm about to go eat dinner with another sales agency owner and uh his partner with jake jb we're gonna grab some steaks we're gonna grab a cigar see where the night takes us this is my last night here in portland tomorrow might wake up early head out it's another beautiful day the sun actually came out so it's not cold so my t-shirt is uh is just fine also dude look at these look at these like people at the top of this building. I didn't even notice that until I was really looking, but that's cool, huh? Here we are. El Gaucho. There he is. Let's go. About to take a bunch of morning meetings, cleaning up the room. Had a fun night with Jake and Tim, Tim's partner last night. Cigars in the steakhouse. Never had that before. Keep forgetting to film the cool stuff. Jake and I went out afterwards, hanging out. He's showing me the town. We went to the Ritz, had some espresso martinis. We're just talking business, talking clients, and scheming on Million Dollar Months Plus. Going to New York next week for the first time, getting flown out by the WAP team. Shout out to the boys. Casey Harrison pulled some strings to get myself and some others flown out. They get back home and hang out for a couple days, then we're back on the road. Second to last Portland coffee. Maybe the last, probably second to last. Uh-huh. Yep. Something I want to talk about a little bit is the concept of being the right person in the right place at the right time. Example, yesterday at this dinner, we met up with someone who runs a sales agency. His best friend just so happens to run the biggest auto detailing business in the Portland area and then runs up a huge coaching program too. And then at dinner in the same cigar lounge, we met the owner of a chain here in Portland. So in one dinner, we met two high level people. I don't live in Portland, so I don't know how fruitful the relationships will be. But for Jake, it could, it could eventually lead to something, right? I used to go to uh, Planet Fitness a lot, the gym, and it was cheap and I never met anyone worth knowing at Planet Fitness. Now I go to a more expensive gym. I have met people worth knowing at the more expensive gym. Or same with the, the restaurants, right? You go to fast food, the likelihood that something comes of it, not as likely. You go to a nice steakhouse, drop a little bit of money, you're surrounded by people that are doing stuff. You know, this could happen at the gym, it could happen at a restaurant, it could happen at a coffee shop, but elevating your environment and elevating the places that you normally go to as you start to have more success is one of the highest ROI things you can do because who knows what those relationships can turn into, but you have to make sure that you are worthy of being connected to. Like you can't just go offer no value and then expect to, to nurture relationships like this. You gotta be valuable first and then get in rooms where other valuable people are and start talking pretty easy. So I got back a few days ago, realized I took a video at the airport and then just ended it there, but I'm at a coffee shop, just stepped out, set up my phone on one of the electrical boxes on the side of the building, and I'm gonna film this outro. I'll include this. I posted a tweet about this the other day, but in 2019, I had 3K per month on my home screen of my iPhone. It was a black screen, white letters, 3K per month. That was my goal for online money. I knew that if I got to 3K a month, I could get further, but 3K a month gets me out of my job. It gets my full focus on this. The day after I got back, we had two agency rev shares hit within four minutes of each other. And I'll pop them up here. It's about $161,000. This is for a period where I was exploring a new city, which is freaking insane. If you guys don't know, I run a sales agency. We run outsourced sales teams for people. We also do recruiting and other stuff like that. But yeah, I wanted to drop that in here as part of this outro, I guess. You really only lose when you quit. Take what I just said in, in the clip before about being in the right place at the right right time, the right people, and being someone of high value and doing that for a long enough time and putting in the work on yourself. I'm not going to say you're going to make 161K in four minutes, but you'll probably be able to make 3K at least. I'm going to wrap up the video here. I have a flight to New York in two days, so I'll probably make another one then. If you are a sales rep looking to go remote so you can travel, take calls, do what I've been doing the past couple of days, it's what I help people do. I've been helping people do that for a while now. It's what I was doing a couple years back. You know, if you've been climbing the ladder for a while, you might not make as much the first month, the first three months, but the freedom that you're gonna get back, fully focus and create the foundation to make 10, 15, 20K while traveling the world, it's worth it. On the flip side of that, if you're a business owner and sales is a pain in your neck and you don't wanna think about it, we can help you with that. We can do it all for you. 
we'll sell you a thing, pay us a rev share, you don't think about it. If you're either one of those people, go to the links below. Also, last minute, our meetup is happening in a few weeks here in Austin, Texas. Sales reps, business owners, in high ticket space or not, you need to be there. So if you're any of those people, you need to be there. If you want to have a good time in Austin, Texas and write it off, you need to be there. I will link the tickets below. We're out of the VIP. We have partial VIP, but if you buy a partial and the day of somebody doesn't show, we'll upgrade you for free. So I hope to see you guys in Austin and thanks for watching this video.